Good morning, everyone. Rise and shine. It's Friday once again. And this is the last week before we move on into phase one. Out of the circuit breaker, are you guys ready to get out of the circuit breaker looking fitter and stronger? We, if you have been following our weekly program, the work, live workout sessions, you should be. So we will be leading you through this workout this morning. Uh, focusing on two things. The second segment, the main part, the main workout segment, will be focusing on arms and bumps. So a lot on the trouble areas that we want to touch on, or rather some parts that we rarely work on. Most of us do a lot of abs and everything, but we want to work on the triceps, shoulders, the bumps, the cellulite area. So that's all the, all it is about this, uh, the first segment, the second segment, sorry, the workout uh, session. And then the last part, later on, uh, you're going to need a pair of socks where I'll be leading you through a, a series of abs and full body, actually. So a, a lot of core uh, exercises involved as well as other parts of the body. So just a pair of socks for later on. Uh, I'm sure you'll be on bare, either barefoot or shoes. It's easy to put on the socks later on. So at first, we're going to go straight into the warm-ups. Just same thing, both arms opposite directions, one forward, one backwards. If you see from the side, one forward, one backwards, all the way down, all the way up, full circles. And change directions, one forward, and one backwards. Remember, it's a bit of coordination. You can start slow to get the directions right. And relax, front and back. Just clap your, front, uh, clap your hands forward and backwards. Try to see if you can touch your hands behind you. And hands in front now. Okay, rotate side to side. Just turn the upper body side to side. Loosen up the body. Get yourself ready for the workout later on. And relax. Okay, feet wider apart. Bend your knees. Push your knees outwards. Right shoulder to the middle. Hold it there. Feel the stretch. My warm-up uh, sets is always the same, so you guys will be memorizing this or you don't even have to memorize because you do it so often, it's muscle memory. You try to do it every uh, workout session, before every workout session, even if you are not following the videos. Hands in front, keep your knees apart, always knees pointing out. Go up on your toes if you can and then try to balance, hold it there. Take note that the bum is low, keep your butt down. Warm up those legs for later on. And relax. Okay, both legs straight. Turn your body, reach across. Keeping both legs straight, just rotate the body and reach across. If you can touch your shoes, your toes, good. If not, that's okay as long as you keep both legs straight. And relax, hang your weight down, reach for the floor. Still keeping your legs straight. Feel the stretch on the back of your legs and your hamstrings. And relax. Now you're going to uh, shift your feet wider apart. And use your hands if you have to, to support yourself first. Bend your knee on one side. And the straightened leg, go on the heel, toes pointing upwards. At first, you may be doing this way on your toes first. That's fine. So it takes quite a bit of uh, ankle and hip mobility to do this with the heel on the ground. So if you need hands to help you, placing anywhere, up to you. We are just warming up, stretching. So no stress for this. Walk over, out of sight. Sit on your heel if you can. Keep the other leg straight, toes pointing up. Feel the stretch on the inner thigh, on the hips, ankles. And one more set on each side. Walk over, slowly lower yourself down. Use your hands on the ground if you have to. The trick is if you have something heavy in front of you, a dumbbell or some, uh, a really heavy table to hold on to, you can hold on to the table in front of you. Last one, back to other side. Nice. And legs, keep your feet where they are. We're going to start with that uh, mobility stretches to get your muscles, your whole body ready, get a range of motion in for the workout later on. So first one, so your feet still the same distance as, as what you just did. Just turn to one side, hands on the ground. Try to see if you can place your hands in line with that foot. And then this is the usual spider stretch that we do, but this time around, we're going to do it a different way. Just feel the stretch here. If your right leg is the one that's in front, right hand off the ground. Twist and come back to hands on the ground. And all you have to do is walk your hands over to the other side. Okay. If your left leg's in front, left hand off the ground. So same leg, same arm. 
twist, return. Just feel the stretch, walk over, out of sight, keep repeating this way. We're just moving the body, get the range of motion in, make sure you're warmed up for the workout. And go again, out of sight. So no need to rush through, we are still in the warm up phase. And walk over, out of sight, finish your last two. Turn, come back, walk over, last one. And return. Okay, and relax. Next one, standing up on your feet. If you have a water bottle with you or any item, actually you don't exactly need a water bottle, uh, any item that you have, a cup, something near you right now, pick it up, just a small one. All we have to do is just single leg, um, picking up. We have done this without the item before, just single leg balance, pick it up, stand all the way straight up, and then come back down. Place it, straighten up again before you go. All the way down, pick it up, and then go back down. So it takes a lot of focus for this. You can use any item, your towel or anything, just that you have to reach lower for the towel. Straighten up each time, pick it up again. So picking up an item just distracts you a little bit and lets you focus on the task itself. You can use anything. All the way straighten, make sure you're still standing on one foot. Place back down and relax. Okay, switch, out of sight. The same thing, so first things first, you want to stand stable on one foot. And the item that you have, not too far away. If it's too far away, you're gonna topple over. Keep it close to your toes, actually. All the way down, bend that knee to go down. And save yourself, come back up, straighten. And go back down again. Try to stay close to your own toes. Straighten up. So you're not toppling forward. You're just bending your knee, bending at your hips to go down to reach for the item and then straighten all the way up. So you're picking it up and putting it down. Just keep repeating. Go at your own pace. You don't have to follow my pace as long as you feel that you're in control of your own body movement. That's the main thing for this part. Last two. Okay, one last one. You're gonna place it back down on the ground and stand all the way up and relax. Okay, now you're gonna feel it a lot on the hamstrings already. That's for you to uh, prepare yourself for the next part later on. Okay, next one. Third thing we have to do for the mobility segment, our usual S turns, S sit position. We're gonna sit this way. So feet in front of you. And uh, of course, if you need help, hands on the ground first, and what we have to do, feet stay in place. They don't move. These two points, they don't move. You just have to bring your knees up and then lower them down again. Okay, if you need help at first, especially in the morning, your body's tight, hands behind to help you, come up onto your feet, knees pointing up, and then go back down. So initially, use your hands if you have to. If not, don't use your hands. That would be even better. So we are working on really the hip hinge motion. All the way, tighten up, keep yourself close, compact, all the way down, all the way up. So your feet as much as possible without shifting the position. Just going up onto your feet, knees pointing up, coming down. You might feel like you're shifting forward a little, that's normal. All the way up, all the way down, good. All the way up, all the way down, one last one. Bring it up and come back down and relax. We're gonna go from the top, one more set. From the top, plank position to start with. Spider stretch, open up on the same side. So if your right leg's forward, right hand up, and then come back down, both hands on the ground, and walk your way over, out of sight. So we're just doing two rounds of this. And then we'll go straight into the workout. All the way to the other side, twist. Return, walk your hands over, feel the stretch on the hips, hand up, reach for the ceiling, come back down to the ground, walk over again, last two, open up, return, last one, walk over all the way, stretch the hips, twist, come back down, and stand up on your feet, okay, single leg, 
picking up the item, anything. Okay, standing, stable first, don't rush through this. Stable on one foot, feel your own balance, feel that you're in control of your body, and slowly lower yourself down to pick up the item. You want to lower yourself down by bending at your knees, at your hips, so you, want, you don't want a stiff leg leaning forward. Keep your knees soft, ankles tight. You want to be stable at the ankle first, because the moment your ankles start to shake up too much, your whole body will shake. So it's really working on the lower body for this part. All the way up, straighten everything. Place it back down, straighten up. Last two on this side, pick it up. Good, one last one. Place it down, straighten up first. And relax. So take note that every single time, whether I'm picking it up or putting it down, I'm always straightening the whole thing first. Lock out, straighten the uh, knees, straighten the hips, squeeze the butt before you go again. Okay, other side, same thing, exactly the same thing. Stable one foot first, straighten, and then bend at your knee, at your hips, reach down, straighten, and then go again. Very slowly, and a lot of focus. You're gonna feel it in, in your ankles, calves, hamstrings, quads, butt, everything on the lower body. So it's such a, it looks like such a simple move, but you can try this anytime, anywhere at home. You're gonna feel like it's burning up in the lower body. It's not that simple. It's a lot of focus. By the way, any hand to pick it up will do. The main thing is, as long as you're able to uh, balance yourself on one foot, whichever hand, up to you. Last two, pick it up, straighten. Last one, put it down. Stand all the way up and rest. Okay, last one for this set. S turns. Feet in place without moving your feet position from here. If you need help, hands behind you. If not, no need. If you want to progress on from two hands, just go on one hand behind and then help, you help yourself with one hand. So slowly from there, one hand behind if you need to. If not, without. So try to keep your abs tight, stay compact. You should feel it on the abs, on the hips, and then sit back down. Try to sit as comfortably as you can. Come up again, and go back down. Just keep repeating this way. We're just working on the hip mobility for all your squats later on. Down, come back up, and return. Good. Nice. Last two from here, bring it up, feel it, and then come back down, one last one. Bring it up, knees pointing up, stay compact, and then sit back down. Okay, relax. All right, so this is for the, just a warm-up segment. By now, you should be feeling your body's warmed up, blood's pumping. We're gonna go straight into the next segment uh, with the arms and bums workout, targeting your trouble area, and you're gonna come back. We're gonna go for a short break and take a sip of water, come back very quickly, and Sam will lead us through the workout. Good morning, everyone. Welcome back to Get Active TV, um, Rise and Shine. 
And um, I hope you enjoy the warm-up session that Cheryl has brought in through with you. So thank you for joining us for Burn and Tone. Today, I'm going to focus on arms and bums. So without further ado, let's get going. So I've got a series of movements for arms, and I've got a series of movements for the bums. So I'm going to start off the arms first, OK? Now, you're going to go down to your elbow plank position. Now, from the elbow plank position, push your knees off the ground, clench your butt, belly buttons in, walk your toes in, keep your body nice and tight and compact. Try to tuck your chin in. Now, first movement that we're going to do, it's a scapular push-up with in the low plank position. So, you're going to sink your chest down to the ground, and then you're going to push your body back up. Okay, so going down, very subtle movement, but it's going to start to work on your shoulders as well as your upper back. So, going down, chest to ground, and then push up. Keep your palms, fingers on the ground. Okay, it will help you with the movement as well. So, going down and up. Chin tucked all the time, and up, going down. Options, you can put your knees on the ground, okay? If you find that it's hard for you to focus on moving the shoulders, just rest your knee on the ground so that you can focus on the movement. Okay, last two, going down, slowly coming up, and one more time, going down, and then come back up, okay? so. That's the low plank push-up or scapular push-up movement. We're going to go up into a high plank, okay? But before we go into high plank, bring your knees back down to the ground. Again, just a refresher in case you're not familiar with moving your shoulder blades. So keep your knees close to your arms first, and then from here, sink your chest down to the ground. And then push up. There's a tendency that you want to bend your elbows or you want to move your elbows. Try to avoid that from happening. So just focus on rounding your shoulders, Squeeze your shoulder blades back together. So we'll go for 10 from now. So push and sink, chest to ground. Push off and sink. Push off and sink. You can feel that it's uh, jerking, twitching of the muscles. It's quite common. Okay, but as you practice a little bit more, you'll start to go away. Now this movement is important because during the push-ups that we're going to perform in a while, you want to make sure that you're moving your shoulders as well and not just focusing on the elbows or the shoulder joint, okay? Get your shoulder blades moving, okay? We're going to go for last three. So sink your chest down to the ground and push off. Last two, chest down to the ground. Push off. And last one, chest down to the ground and push off, okay? Swing your arms a little bit. Release the tension in the shoulder joint. All right. Now we're going to get it moving a little bit more, get the shoulders moving a little bit more before we go into the push up movements. So, my favorite plank walk up. So, walk your toes in, buttocks clench, abs tight, shoulders over your elbows. You're going to start walking your palm to your elbow position, push your body back up, and then down. Push, and then down. Push, and then down. So you notice over here, there's a lot of control that we need for the shoulder joint, or the scapula, or the shoulder blades. And then down, take your time. Push up, and then going down, stabilize the shoulders. So try not to sink your chest. Keep it pushed away from the chair, from the ground all the time. Push up. And then down. We've got last four. Push. Down. Last three. Push off. And down. Last two. Push up. And down. And last one. Push up. And back. Down. Okay, shake it off a little bit, relax. We're gonna go and do push-ups, okay? What well, we've all focused on moving the shoulders, so this time around when we go into push-up, make sure you're using your shoulders as well, okay? So again, start out with the hands underneath your shoulders. Raise your buttocks up, raise your knees off the ground. Lower your chest down towards the ground. So notice over here, my shoulder blades are not sinking in, or not squeezed together, it's still pushing. And then push off, shoulders rounded. Going down, 
Keep it rounded, don't sink, and push off. We've only got 10. Going down for third. Keep it rounded, and push. Going down four, and push. Going down five, and push. Last five, down, and push off. Down six, breathe in. Exhale, push off. Going down seven, and push off. So simple movement, but it depends how you focus. Last two, and push off. Options, of course, you can always be performing this movement on your knees. Okay, release, relax a little bit. Now we're going to be a little bit more fancy. We're going to go into side plank push-up. So we're going to go into elbow plank, rotate, go down to push-up, and then get ourselves back on position again. Okay, we're going to start with right hand. So you're going to go into side plank first, go down to push-up, going down, up, side plank. Okay, the whole idea over here is to focus on one shoulder, all right? So you can feel the push. Make sure you're pushing off, okay? Going back down, up, go down, and push. So the work is over here where you're holding on to your side plank position, okay? Going back down, press yourself up, side plank position, and hold. Twist, turn back, push up, go down the elbow plank, and hold. Okay, so the push-up becomes the easy portion. You want to work on the side elbow plank. Okay, try not to be slouching. Keep your hips up all the time. Okay, we should have four more. Going down, push, go down to elbow, rotate, hold. Return, reset, push up. Remember, shoulders always back. Push, rotate, and hold. Last three, going down, push off, go down to elbow, hold. Last two, push off, go on the elbow, hold it. One last one, going down, press up, and hold. Okay, once that is done, release and relax. Move around a little bit. So don't just be swinging your arms. You want to make sure that you're moving your shoulders all the time. Okay, I'm going to walk on the other side. So left side hold. Going to side plank. Bring your foot forward as an option to stabilize. If not, the foot can stack on top of one another. Okay. Keep your hips up, side plank position. And then from here, rotate back. Go down to push up, push off, elbow plank, and then stack. Shoulders always on top of the elbow, hip is always up, torsos up, shoulder blades together. And then go back, down to push up, elbow plank, and then hold. I hope you can feel your arms working, shoulders working, ideally feel the burn. And rotate, go back down, push off, go down to side plank. Going back in, make sure you're breathing all the way through as well. Down to elbow, hold it, raise your hips up, shoulders back, Go back down to push up. Push up. Last five. Push. Elbow down. Rotate. Whole side plank. Don't slouch. Keep your shoulders up all the time. Last four. Going down. Push up. Elbows down. Side plank. Holding. Rotate. Last three. Going down. Up. Elbow down. Rotate to the side, hold, last two, going down, up, 
Elbow down to the side. Hold it. One last one. Down, up, elbow on the side. Hold it there. Okay. Side elbow plank. Done. Okay, we're going to finish off with an explosive movement. So we're going to go onto our knees. Knees push off, push up. So rest your knees on the ground. Make sure you're stable. You can rest your knees on the, on the towel as well. Okay, release your toes off the ground. Go down. Okay, don't relax entirely. Make sure you're still engaging. Up, push off. And then back, reset. And up two. Up three. Up four. Now, options. If you're not able to push your hands off the ground, just push off hard, fast. And then back down, okay? Push off hard. And then back down. Okay, last four to go. Push off hard. And then back down. Or push off completely. Last three. Last two. And last one. Okay. And done. All right. All right. So that's for our arms. We're going to move on to our legs. Okay. So start off with squats first. So for the, today's bum movement, make sure you push your buttocks back. Engage the hamstring, but not too far. Your toes should still be on the ground. So we're going to go down. Keep your pocket about in line with your knees. A little bit lower is fine. Holding it there. And then stand. As you stand, clench your butt, straighten your knees out. Going down two. Exhale, coming up. Going down three. Holding. And stand. If you need a stool, put a stool behind. You can go into a sit. Okay, or you can just touch it. Going down four, five. And stand. Going down six. And stand. Seven. And stand. Option, you can put your hands behind. Going down eight. And stand. Nine. And stand. And ten. And stand, okay? Combine the, movement, the, the shoulder movement that we have, you can perform air thrusters. So it's basically a squat with a press up. So continuing your squat, thumbs on your shoulders, stand, push off. Squeeze your shoulder blades together. Release the shoulder blades, round it, going down, up, squeeze. Bring hands back to your shoulders, going down, up, squeeze. We're going to pause at the bottom. Squat, hold, stand, and pause. Hands back to the shoulders, going down. Squat, hold, stand, and press. Back down to the shoulder, last four. Squat, hold, stand, press. Squeeze shoulder blades together. Going back down, last three. Press off, and reset, last two. Going down, squat, stand, press off, and reset. One last one, going down, squat, stand, press off. Okay, so I hope that helps to warm up the legs. We're going to go into static lunges. So for static lunges, make sure you have one foot forward, one foot back, and like you're standing on a train line, there should be two lines. Should not be standing like this. Spread your feet apart, okay? So you're going to start off from a high kneeling position first. Okay, that allows us to check our posture. Make sure your front knee is 90 degree bend. Back knee is also 90 degree bend. Shoulders always over your hips. Drive your front heels into the ground. Drive your back toes into the ground. And push your body up into a stable position. So we're going to go down, touch, and up. That's one. We're going to go for 10 only. Two. Three, make sure your pockets are always facing forward. Four, so don't allow it to turn. Going down, up five, avoid the turning. Okay, so we don't want to see the turning. Going down, and up six. Going down, seven, eight, last two, nine, and ten. Okay, switch side. So again, Make sure your feet are 
standing on two lines, front, front knee, 90 degree bend, back knee, 90 degree bend, drive your heels down, drive your toes down, get ready, push off, okay? Going down, bring your knee to a touch, and press up. That's one, two, three. Option, get your arms working, so hands up. And up four, making sure your pockets are still facing forward. Five, six, seven, keep breathing, eight, nine, and ten. Okay, simple movement. Now we're gonna go into rear lunge. So facing forward, you're gonna take a big step backward, going down, touch, raise your knee up. Going down, touch, two, and up. Touch three, up, four, up, five, up, five more to go. And up, seven, up, eight, and up, nine, up, ten, and up. Switch side, we're gonna walk on the other side as well. Going down, touch, and up, two, and up, three, and up, four, walk on the front thighs, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Okay, I've got one last movement. This time around, we're gonna practice straddling. So we're gonna stand one end of the mat, you're gonna go down, do a side squat or a split squat or a split lunge. Stand, go into a high knee. We've got 10 on each side, and then we're done for today for the arms and bumps, okay? We still got abs work, very fun abs work with Cheryl in a while. So make sure you stay tuned after our break. Last four, and up, three, up, Two, and up. One last one, and up. Okay, go on to the other side. Last 10 breaths for, for me. Going down, and up. Two, and up. Three, up. Four, balance. Five, breathing. Six, chest up. Seven, Abs tight all the time. Eight, nine, and 10. Okay, shake your legs off a little bit. All right, I hope you enjoy the arms and the bumps. We're gonna take a break now. Coming back with Cheryl, working on your abs. Hang around. Welcome back, guys. Uh, if you are uh, doing the walk workout just now with the shoes, all you have to do now is to take off your shoes but leave your socks on. If you are doing barefooted, just grab a pair of socks, 
put on the socks and you will be sliding around here. I'm with my shoes now because I won't be able to slide on the carpet floor. So what I'm going to do here just to uh, demonstrate and work out with you guys at home who are wearing socks right now, I'm going to be using this pair of sliders that I can slide on, um, on carpet floors this way. Okay, So these ones, um, they work exactly the same as socks on smooth ground. So you don't exactly need this equipment if you don't have it at home. So that's fine. Just wear a pair of socks. And for this segment, this short 10 minutes workout that I have for you before we end today's session, is just to target a lot on your core. With the sliders, with the socks uh, sliding around in your house, it's gonna be a lot of core work, a lot of apps. At the same time, all the other exercises that we're doing will uh, be targeting different parts of your body for each exercise. So five different exercises for this part, and we are going three rounds. So the five different exercises, we are going for 30 seconds of work time. All you have to do is keep going for that exercise for 30 seconds straight as much as you can try to keep the 30 seconds on and then 15 seconds in between the exercises to rest to breathe before your next one okay so before we begin the timer we're gonna uh, I'm gonna run through the exercises with you first so you know what we're gonna do so by now you should have only your socks on um, I'll be demonstrating with the sliders here so just imagine I'm with my socks only uh, five different exercises first one just with your socks, don't, don't worry about the sliders that I have. You'll be doing the same thing with your socks on. From here, uh, first one, 30 seconds, going into a regular squat position. So how we usually do squats, okay? And just make sure you don't slide out. So regular squat, hold the squat, foot slide, come back, straighten, and go again. Squat, hold there, foot slide, come back, and up. So all you have to do is keep repeating this for 30 seconds. So side view, make sure your knees are not going forward when you're sliding out. So always stay in place, slide, return, okay? So regular squat position, all you have to do is add in that foot slide at the end. Second exercise, mountain climbers. Same thing with your socks. All of these exercises with your socks on. Okay, this time round, instead of hopping with your mountain climbers, we don't have to hop. All you have to do is actually th think about your hips floating in place. Without moving your hips as much as you can, you're just sliding in and out on your toes this way, with your socks on, okay? So without dropping each time. So you don't want to drop. So you keep your hips floating in place, knees to elbows. The speed is totally up to you. The challenge is to keep going for 30 seconds. If you go slow, it's still tough. If you go fast, it's also tough. So it's up to you what speed you want to go at. So the third exercise, elbow plank with in and out. This one targets a lot on your abs, a bit on the shoulders, and the good thing is inner thighs and the bums again. Okay, so from here, start in the elbow plank, regular elbow plank, and all you have to do on your toes with your socks, open and close. So hold the elbow plank, slide open, and close in. So notice that my hips still float in place. I am not dropping and pulling up this way. This is not counted. This is using the momentum, okay? Hold the abs tight, open, close. Your hips stay in place the whole time for this move, okay? Elbow plank, in and out. Really good for the arms, abs, inner thighs, but basically all the trouble areas. So this is one of my favorite slider exercises. And the fourth exercise, with the socks, now you're gonna be lying down on the mat or on the floor, actually. You can just do it on the floor at home. Heels on the ground, regular bridge position. Hold the bridge up and foot slide again. From here, straighten one leg out while keeping your hips up and return. So hip position, stay in place, straighten out and return. And you go again, straighten out and return. So all you have to do is just keep moving like that while keeping your hips floating up for 30 seconds. I'll tell you the advanced version later on while we move on to, into the rounds. And the last exercise for the round, inchworms. So this one, you're gonna start actually standing up on your feet, walk out into a plank position, stop in the plank, and you're gonna slide your way in. So as much as you can, keep your legs, keep your bum up high, legs straight for those who uh, have the flexibility, keep your legs straight. If not, bend your knees a little bit, but I don't want to see any full squat. This is, this is a lot of hip flexor work 
We want to target your apps and not just kneeing forward. Apps, that means but up, but up, but up, but up, but up, and then go again. All the way back down, walk your hands back. So the inchworm, you're gonna walk forward, look like an inchworm, but up, go back again, reverse the whole movement. Okay, so we'll just run through with you the five exercises and I'll be doing the exercises with you. So all you have to do is just glance at your screen every once in a while and then you just follow through the timer with us. Okay, so three rounds, 30 seconds each. We're gonna start with the first one, squat, foot slide in five seconds. Get ready on your feet. Three, two, one, and here we go. Squat, slide out, return. Stand all the way up. Now the other side, slide, return, and up. So you're holding the squat position while you slide out. And up, and go again. Other side. So keep sticking your butt out to the back. That is the correct one. So if I do side view, you're gonna see my butt is always out in the back even when I go on single leg squat. From here, slide out, last one, and up. All right, relax for 10 seconds, shake it out. Remember, it's all with your socks, okay? I'm just doing with this with the sliders because of the ground here. Next one, mountain climbers. Start in a plank. And here we go, 30 seconds. Imagine your uh, hips floating in place. So no bouncing with your hips. Minimal bouncing with the hips. Keep your belly button tucked in the whole time. Hold your own body weight with the shoulders. Drive your knees to the elbows. Five seconds, all the way. Finish your last three, two, one, and rest. <sighs> that is a tough one. Just regular mountain climbers, but sliding makes a lot of difference as well. Five seconds to the next one. Elbow plank with the in and out. Get ready on the ground. Elbow plank and here we go. Open up and close it in. Doesn't have to be very wide, guys. Just slightly straddle and then close in together. Both legs get to move symmetrically. Open together, close in together while maintaining your elbow plank. If you need to rest in the 30 seconds, all you have to do is hold the elbow plank and hold it until the time ends. And rest. Nice, 15 seconds to breathe. Next one, lie down on your back. Bridge position. On your back, when the time starts, hips up. Three, two, one, and hips up. Relax your arms on the ground, hold the hips first. Notice where your hips are and maintain that same height. Okay, straighten one side and pull it in. So your challenge for this part, first round, is really to keep your hip level without dropping your hip when you're uh, sliding out. So keep your hips up with the other leg that's on the ground now and come back. Slide out with one side, hold up with the other side. And rest, nice. All right, last one, inchworm. Last one for this round, we got two more rounds to go. Okay, five seconds, standing on your feet. From here, you're gonna walk out to a plank and reach for the floor, slowly walk out to a plank, stop in the plank, butt up, feet in. No need to stand up yet, feet out into a plank again, walk your hands to your feet. Okay, and return again, walk your hands out, stop in the plank, butt up, feet in. And repeat, reverse the whole thing. Walk your hands all the way in without sliding yourself off. Notice that I always keep my butt up. And rest, okay, good news is 30 seconds and round rest time. So now you got 30 seconds to breathe a little bit longer and then we're gonna start from the top again. So first round, I always call it orientation round. You should be familiar with the movements by now. And then if you can, if you want to, you can take it up to the next level. Either a more advanced version of the exercise or you build in more reps as you go along, okay? Back to the top, squat, foot and slide. And here we go, 30 seconds starts now. Slide out, return, come back. You don't have to go fast for this. Feel yourself controlling your body's movement. 
and where your squat is. Make sure you're in a proper squat position. Don't slide out. Control. It's actually a lot of butt too, and inner thighs and core to stay in that position. It's a full body toning. Last one. And rest. Okay, 15 seconds. Relax. Mountain climbers. Second exercise. You got five seconds. Get ready. Three, two, one, and hold a plank. Here we go. Knees to elbows. You can keep it slow if you want. Try to have your hips floating in place. No bouncing like that. Nope. Not working on anything. Make it count. Ten more seconds. Just focus on your breathing. Five seconds. Three, two, one, and rest. Nice. All right. Third one, elbow plank, in out. One of my favorites, elbow plank with the adductors. Five seconds. Okay, get ready on the ground, on your elbows. And here we go. Open and close in. The whole time holding your hips position. Open and slide in. Nice. Good. Remember, if you need to take a break, just hold in a plank position for the remaining time. Five seconds. Finish your last one. Work the inner thighs and rest. Nice. Turn around onto bridge. This part works a lot on your back, uh, lower back, but hamstrings. So on the posterior chain, ready and butt up. Hold it. Once you're ready, slide out and come back. Okay, out of sight. Okay, this is the advanced version for those of you who want to make it harder. Bridge, both legs out and both legs in while keeping the hips up, okay? Heels out, still not touching the floor, the butt, and heels all the way in. Keep going. Last one. And rest. Nice, well done. Okay, inchworm up on your feet. So not easy, huh? just with the socks, socks workout. Get ready, three, two, one, and walk out to a plank. Stop in a plank, lock in, butt up, feet in. And then reverse the whole thing. Feet out to a plank. Now walk your hands in to your feet. Breathe in and go again. Nice, butt up, feet in. Remember your butt is high up, never ever Squat all the way down for this move because you won't be working on anything for that. Walk your hands in and time. Okay, relax. 30 seconds rest. One last round to go. One last round. Okay, relax, breathe. Just one last round and then cool down. Promise. Okay, feet on the ground. Get ready for your squats in 10 seconds. Just focus on your breathing, recover as much as you can. Okay, three, two, one, and here we go. Squat, hold it, slide out, return, come all the way up. Again, squat, hold your hips there, slide out, return, and straighten. Just keep going this way. If you find it easy, you can go a little bit faster to squeeze in more repetitions but you have to make sure your squat position is right. Your butt is always back, always sitting back, even if you're on one leg. And time. Relax. Mountain climbers. The love and hate exercise. Well, most people hate it, but you have to love it because of the effects of it. Abs, arms, get ready. And here we go, 30 seconds. Pace your breathing, stay light on the toes. Hold your own weight up with the arms. Keep your belly button tucked in. Make sure your hips floating. Minimal movement on the hips level, the height of your hips. 10 more seconds. All the way, all the way, finish it, five seconds. 
and time. Nice, relax, breathe. Next one, abs, inner thighs, butt. Okay, elbow plank, get ready on the ground. Five seconds. And here we go. Hold the plank. The legs are just opening slightly, closing all the way to the middle. If you're struggling with this, if you feel any back, lower back pain, just hold a regular plank. Or if you really have two knees on the ground, just crunch in and hold it. Eight more seconds. All the way, finish it. Might as well finish it. Last one. And time. Nice, okay, you turn around, lie down on your back. Heels on the ground. Keep your butt close to your heels. Okay, for this one, up to you if you want to do single leg or not. Okay, butt up, 30 seconds starts now. So we did a single leg on the first round. For those who want to, just keep continuing the single leg. If you want to take it up a level, or two levels up actually, both legs out at the same time. Both heels into your, towards your butt. Straighten slowly, control, and then slide it back in. Yeah, just with your socks. All the way back in. Last one. And time. Relax. Okay, one last one. Inchworms. Five seconds. Get ready. Three, two, one, and here we go. Walk your hands out, stop in the plank, lock in. Butt up, feet in, butt up, feet in. Butt up is the main thing, okay? Reverse the whole movement. Walk your hands into your toes. Still butt up, butt up is the main thing. So you work on your lower abs. Butt up, feet in. Good, you can bend your knees, your legs doesn't have to be straight as long as you put in the effort to pull your butt up. Last one. And time, all right, good work guys. That was three rounds, and I'm, I'm already sweating, you must be, from all the workout today. Okay, just cool down stretches. If you have a mat, good, if not, just lay down on the floor. Use a towel if you need to. Just cool down stretches now. Okay, relax on the ground, lie down on your back, curl yourself up, rock side to side. Relax your back muscles. Nice. All right, relax. One leg straight. The other leg also straight, but up towards the sitting. Hold on to the back of your calves or your knees. Just make sure the top leg is straight. Feel the stretch. You have to at least get to 90 degrees, guys. It's, uh, yeah, we talked about this. At the end of the circuit breaker, it should be at least 90 degrees. So 90 degrees here, for those who can, pull it in. Hold on to your toes if you are able to. Keep that front leg straight. Hold it. Feel the stretch. Five counts, four, three, two, one, and slowly let go, switch sides. The other leg up, start at 90 degrees. Okay, hold it, keep that leg straight. If you have a towel or a rope or a resistance band, you can loop it around your foot. It'll make it easier for you to hold on. If you can, pull it in some more. Hold it right there. As long as the top leg is straight and you feel the stretch, just hold it. Try your best to relax the whole body, especially the muscles that you're working on, that you're stretching, relax them. Pull it in a little bit more. Hold it, five counts, five, four, three, two, one, and relax. Okay, one foot up on your knee. The usual glute stretch. Bring that shoe in, bring that foot in towards your shoulder and hold it there. Your upper body can relax, but try to use your arms to pull it in. Make sure you feel the stretch, not supposed to be comfortable. You should feel the stretch on the, on the hips, on the bum, especially today when you have worked a lot on the lower body too. Pull it in. See how far you can get your foot towards your shoulder. And slowly relax, switch sides. 
other side. Same thing, pull that foot in towards your shoulder. So you can see I'm not very good at this, this stretch in particular. So really tight on the hips. Pull it in, foot towards the shoulder. Hold it, feel the stretch and hold it. Try your best to relax the muscle group that you are stretching so that the muscles can lengthen out nicely. And slowly relax. Okay, T position with your arm. One leg up, cross over on one side, and then hold it. Try to have your knee close to the ground if you can. And switch other side, other leg up, and cross over. Just relax the whole body, let it sink into the ground. Nice. And relax, come back up. You're gonna sit up, straddle. Go into a straddle position. It doesn't have to be very wide. Just keep both legs straight. If you have a trouble touching your toes, bend the knees. Hold on to your toes and straighten up. Hold it. Feel the stretch, relax. And come back up. Sit in a comfortable position, stretch your shoulders. And switch out of sight. One arm over the other, elbow down, keep your head up. If you can, lean to the opposite side so you feel the stretch along the side of your body. And switch, other side. And relax, keep your back straight, head down, stretch your neck, relax your shoulders. Okay, look in front of you now, ear to shoulder on one side. Relax the shoulders, feel the stretch on the side of your neck. And switch out of sight. And relax. All right, that's it for today's session. Uh, next week, same time, we're still going to have this live workout session. So I hope you guys enjoy the workout and have a good weekend ahead. We will see you next week.